Hello there friends and welcome back for another map mod review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the SVAPA Agro 4X map version 1.2 beta. File size is 639 megabytes and some people may notice the uh, logo in the top right hand corner. I've actually reviewed some mods by these guys. These guys are the people that made all those wonderful placeables I have reviewed in the past, such as the Berry Greenhouse, the Soul Bee Pack, Sugar Factory, Milk Factory, Pallet Factory, Cardboard Factory, Chicken Coops, and probably a couple more. So it looks like they made a map. So uh, what we're going to do, guys, I'm going to take you over to the website. We're going to go over a few things there. Then we will discuss a few things. We'll go over and take a look at your starting fleet, and then we will take a tour of the map. So let's go over to the site okay guys here we are over on the website when you follow the link I provide for you down below it's gonna bring you right here this is the SVAPA agro map SVAPA SVAPA I guess you would say 4x map very large 65 fields on this monster this is where it's gonna bring you when you click on the link there is the download right there 639 megabytes just click on that there is your download bar right here. It's going to open a blank page here, but then it'll go right over. Just find your folder that you put your mods in. Put it on in there. You don't have to unpack that first zip file or anything. You're uh, good, pretty much good to go after that. So, they do list a few things there, but we're not going to go over that quite yet because I pretty much, there's some of their mods there down the bottom. Oh, they disappeared on me, but... Yeah, most of you will be familiar with them. They make really cool mods. I'm not sure about the map. Well, I did go over it. It looks great, but I haven't played on it. But, uh, like I said, this is the site. So, let's get back to the review. Okay, everyone. Now that we've gone over that, I have the map all loaded up here. This is your starting position right here. Like I said, there's 65 fields. This is a 4X map. Very, very big map. Fields are fairly small. Small to medium-sized fields. And, uh... We're going to look at a few things right now. So there is built-in placeables on this map. You have such placeables like the Milk Factory, the Cardboard Factory, the Pallet Factory. We have some Berry Greenhouses, a Biodiesel Factory. Uh, there is huge forests on this map as well, so that's excellent. And there's sand and gravel. Now, I'm not 100% sure how the sand and gravel works because I haven't worked with that product before. But if anybody knows, as we go around the map and you know how it's, uh, it works and stuff, maybe you can leave down in the description so others will know. I'm sure we could all figure it out, but just uh, a quick reference kind of thing. So let's take a look at this map. So there we have it. I thought there was 60 fields at first, but I actually noticed that there's a few here. So we have 65. This is a really nice map. Look at all the grass too. And see all this part in here? This is all for forested areas. We have a quarry up here for sand and gravel. There's a forested area there and all this. So you, there's all kinds of forestry on this map. So what I'll do is I'll probably come up to here and make my way around this way. Okay, so like I said, this is your starting position. I'm going to get my speed mod going here. So your farm is right inside there. There is your pickup truck. Actually, I forgot to go over to starting fleet with you. Pretty crazy starting fleet. You do get a, quite a generous bunch, but you get a lot of the same. But I mean, you could always trade these up. You get four Veltra T series tractors. You get, count them, four Veltra S series tractors. You get two, uh, what are those, telehandlers. Two telehandlers, two forks. You get a wheel loader and a bucket. You get two harvesters, a corn header. You get a chaff harvester, a header trailer. We have three medium-sized tippers, a uh, cultivator, that could be a plow, no it's a cultivator, a uh, corn seeder, they're all your, yeah, you know what I mean, the corn seeder plants uh, sugar beets, <laughs> there I go saying snow peas again, uh, soybean and sunflowers. There is a large sprayer, we have a dry fertilizer, we have a front and back attachment for your for cutting grass some mowers. We have a tether and a wind rower. We have a loading wagon, two bale trailers, a bale picker upper, a baler, a pickup, a small water tanker, and we have a buffalo and a scorpion king to uh, 
get into that forestry that will be needed. Well, not need it, but that'll bring in some quick cash. And like I said, some of their mods are embedded right into the map. So that's fantastic. So let's take a look at the farm. So some of these doors are automatic. Some of them you will have to press the Y button. I don't know why that is. Pardon the pun, but yeah, you do have to press the Y button. The Y button. The Y button to, uh, to activate some of the doors. Get a little scale here. We'll take an aerial view just uh, to get a good look. There is your diesel and your tanker diesel. Your tanker to fill up and your uh, small fill up for your tractors and whatnot. Here are some of the doors that you will have to come over and press the Y button. You can see it up there in the corner. Press the Y button. And we got some vehicle storage in here. Really nice map. We have some fertilizer and seed there inside here it looks like a little uh perhaps where you can fix your vehicles um i never noticed this the first time i came through this isn't your silo let's see if that uh comes up there oh goodness okay no nothing's coming up here i'm not 100 percent. oh wait a minute oh no not 100% sure what this drop-off is here. I didn't notice it before, but here is your silos. There's your drop-off, and there's your pickup. We have some more vehicle storage here and there. There's where you can sell some bales and some of your straw. And here is a couple of placeables here. Now, they're, they look quite different from the other ones that we're familiar with. But you put manure and liquid manure in here, and you make fertilizer. This next factory, you put fertilizer and grain, you can make seed. See, that's not like the seed master, that's totally different from that. Then we have our forage maker, or your mixed ration, whatever you prefer to call it. And we have our power pig food here. So we got four really nice um, placeables right in a row there. Then we have our compost master over here. There's one of your tractors there. Everything's filthy, rotten, dirty, too, so I don't know. You'll have to, uh, you might want to buy a sprayer. We have a slurry pit. There is another drop-off. Goodness. What's this? Automatic fill. Tip FS. Hmm. Silage. Okay, I'd say you, uh, yeah, you put your chaff in there and you get silage. Look, I don't know why there's two screens here. Is this different? Oh, the speed mod. Sometimes it's handy, sometimes it's not. See, this looks a little different here. What was the R button for? Manual fill and auto fill. You get the point. Let's get our speed mob going back again. So there's quite a bit in this one little area here. There's most of your vehicles down there. Like I said, they're all filthy. Look at them. I don't think they could get any dirty if you tried. And all your equipment's dirty too, so somebody's been hurt at it. The farmer uh, must have sold you all this stuff and headed out of town in a hurry. Here is your cows. There's where you're going to drop them off and pick them up. There is your, well, we have two large silage pits here. There is your slurry and your manure. Oh, I hear bees. Oh, I just got the shakes when I heard that. Where are the bees at? I don't know. Where are these bees? Okay, that's freaky. I don't... Oh, no, what? That's probably flies from the poop. <laughs> that's cool. Oh, that's what that is, too. They just took the bee sounds and uh, did that. Okay, so, like I said, there is your cows. I know all the animals are right in around here. There's the piggies over here. All your uh, liquid and solid manure, your water fill up, grain fill up, drop off for your pigs and pick up. We got a few more places to store stuff here. This is okay where you drop off your cows, yes. Uh, the chickens are right around here, too. There they are. Here's your chickens over here. And the sheep are actually right here. Here is the sheep zone. So this building here is kind of unfinished. It being in beta and everything. Because watch when I go inside. Yeah. 
So, I mean, not a big deal. As long as the, uh, the, the sheep functions work and it works properly, all the, sh all the stuff the sheep do, that's all that matters. So, that is that. That is your main farm right here. We're going to go north here. I'm going to circle around. And I'm just going to, as you can see, some of this stuff is not in English, unfortunately. But I'm sure you can figure out what it is once you get going. So I noticed there's like sand dunes and stuff like that around. I don't know if you can dig up some of the sand and gravel from these areas. I'm not 100% sure, but we're going to start here. And you're going to see a few different areas like this. Some of them are functionable, some of them are not. They got triggers on the outside. This one does. So this may be where you sell it or where you grab it. But as you can see, there's no gate to get inside. So you're only going to be dealing with the trigger here. So like I said, yeah, I didn't deal with that uh, with gravel and sand before. So look at this forested area here. There's just one little part of it. I'm on times three speed here, guys, so you can tell how big the map is. Have a large forested area here. There is another one of those sand parts. I don't know if that's like a glitch with the map or that's where you can do some digging. Not 100% sure about that one. So, that is one of the forested areas. We're just going to go bypass the uh, farm down here. As you can see, you have four fields to start. Where we're heading down to now, you have fields 6, 7, 10, and 11. So you have a pretty good start. And these are definitely manageable fields. Like you, This is like huge, but one person could play this. Be better for multiplayer, but I mean, there's a lot of fields to cover. But they're all like smaller to medium sized fields. So there is something down here in the corner that doesn't show up on the map. See these three buildings coming up? As you can see on the map, they don't show up here. I had to go kind of looking for them because... I didn't know where you could uh, get your pallets and stuff, but here are the factories for that. I'm going to bring all your ingredients over here. This one takes wood chips and empty pallets, and it'll make uh, cardboard for you. This one here uh, takes board pallets and, yeah, just boards, and it makes pallets, empty pallets, yeah takes the boards and makes empty pallets out of them. And this is the board factory here, I do believe. This one's kind of weird because the monitor's on the inside. So you put fuel and logs in here and you get wood chips and board pallets. So there you go. So yeah, you get uh, basically pallets full of boards like this and then you bring them over and they make pallets out of them. So like I said, you can't see that on the map so you might want to uh, remember where that is. Here is a huge forested area here. All kinds of forestry, guys. Look at that. I thought those buildings, you could access them. But uh, it's funny, like, usually you don't see buildings in the background like that. But you can't access them. Right here is your uh, border. But uh, still cool. I really like this map. I, I do. There's a lot of detail. A lot of, went, a lot of effort went into this. You can tell huge forestry area you could have a heyday if you're into that literally some guys get a kick at it when i say heyday <laughs> okay we're coming up on a gas station here here is your biodiesel plant now here's something else that doesn't really show up on the map because the gas icon on the map down in the corner is for the gas station down here and some people will be familiar with this. That's a biodiesel plant. You uh, you put canola in there and you get three different products. Biodiesel, um, you get forage and something else. I'm going to have to check that out now since I... Oh, look, it's not in English. Digestate, forage, and fuel. Okay. Yeah, the service stations look kind of funny because they look like they're almost abandoned. But I'd imagine those pumps just work fine. And w there's another one of these service stations coming up that actually has a trigger there so you can probably sell your fuel. Yeah, some of these have triggers on them. So I'd imagine that's for the sand and gravel. Pretty hilly at some points in this. Look at this hill. Okay, what are we coming up on here? Not really showing up on the map, but that is a potential customer down there. Look, there's all residential around here. It's just chock full, this map. 
Have a little power company back here. A little playground there for the kitties. Take a look at this. We'll just take a little zoom on through. I do believe you can sell milk in here somewhere. Maybe it's not here, but... Okay, here's milk sales. There's a little uh, supermarket here. You can tell by the uh, produce in the window. Uh, I'd imagine you can sell your pallets of fruit there, and we can see there is a little nozzle there for selling your milk. I do believe there's one other one I kind of bumped into. TNK coming up. That's another one of these. I don't know if they all have triggers or not, but I, I think some of them I... Yeah, like this one doesn't have a trigger, so I don't know why this is here. And you can't access the inside unless you can drive through a wall or something. Here's one of the service stations I was telling you about. I'd imagine you could sell some of your biofuel here. Let's zippity zip up in the air. Oh, I'm hearing all kinds of sirens outside. I hope nothing's going down. We're coming up on the bakery here, guys. You'll remember this from the Sosnovka map. Looks like the same building. There's your drop off right there. Potential customer to buy all your grains. Coming up on the grain elevator over here. Look at all the grass. Now, one thing I was wondering about this grass, look at it. Like, it doesn't look like it grows, but maybe it does after a while. Maybe it just starts. Not 100% sure about that, but most of this grass looks like it can't be mowed, but maybe it grows after a while. So, we have a potential customer right here. going to keep moseying on over across the bridge we have another little sand pit down here and then we'll cut over to the spinnery see what I mean all these blocked in yellow or brown or beige whatever you want to call it parts so there's quite a few of these spread around the map here's another one that doesn't really have a trigger like I said this is in beta form too so I'd imagine they will be adding to it This is spinnery here, yes. You bring your wool on over here, I'd imagine. Have a couple of houses and stuff, little community around here. What are the uh, field prices, I wonder? Is it in euros? Nope. Uh, 194,000, not, not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. And it looks like you can do jobs for the farmers. This would be a hard map to uh, get that achievement for doing... Uh, a job for each farmer you'd have to do 65 of them yeah to get that achievement you'd want to do a small map for sure okay we have another barn over here where you can sell your straw and your bales I really do like this map definitely has a lot of potential so we're gonna cut on down over here it looks like we have another service station we have uh, the biomass? This isn't a biomass. This doesn't look like a heating plant. No. But, looks like we can sell some wood chips here. That's it. There's a place to sell some wood chips, guys, and possibly some logs. Here is another forested area. Oh, actually, we already took a look at that. But you can tell by them little brown splashes on the map that that's what that is. I just hope I'm not forgetting anything on the interior there. I don't see anything showing up, but... Okay, so this is... Okay, this is a big one here. I do believe this is your dairy. Now, there's quite a few triggers around here. We have a drop-off outside here. Then we have all these triggers here. And there is all your ingredients. You need empty pallets, cartons, fruit, milk, and sugar. Yes. And then you'll get your kefir, butter, yogurt, condensed milk. And kefir is almost like yogurt, but it's apparently a little more tart or something, or a little stronger tasting. I'm not too sure, because they don't sell it around here. And uh, there's another drop-off. I'd imagine that's for your milk. So we will roll on. We have another little... Oh, I keep saying that, but it's the same one. Actually, there was another little forested area right over here on the east coast. Very nice. We got some traffic. Yeah, all kinds of forestry, guys. Tons and tons of forestry. Okay, let's... We're coming up on the quarry up here. That's where the big rigs hang out and do some digging. 
bit of scale and a drop off down there possibly you come around these windy windy roads and there's your big old mountain destroyer and there's a drop off right down there now I, I think this thing may move once you come down to fill it up this thing may rotate I'm not a hundred percent sure because like I said I haven't worked with that stuff before but I like the uh, little paths going around a little bit more forestry there all this is forestry like right around this whole mountainside and then you got this road that you'll have to take to come up into the quarry area which is really cool I like that the old uh, residential people won't want to be hearing the noise coming from that and speaking of that we have a few more homes down here scattered throughout the map here is another place where you can sell some product looks like we can sell some bales and stuff there as well coming up on the vegetable greenhouses here so this is where you're going to do most of your work for your berries and stuff I don't know if I passed the sugar mill or not but there was a place where you can sell your sugar beets Uh, let's bring that map up again because I don't know if I vegetable warehouse. Okay. Okay That is not where the greenhouses are, but we'll be coming up on that in a minute There is another grocery store down there Where am I at up here? Okay So yeah, there's another one of those places. So I'm wondering did I pass that? I don't know. I kind of forget where the greenhouses are now shoot where's the garden center oh no what we're coming up on that let's go over in this corner we'll take a little look quickly quickly yeah i am on uh 3x speed so that's how i know these uh maps are so big oh we just got a little residential area here some more forestry that is another place to get dirt when I say dirt, I mean gravel and sand. Coming up on the garden center and uh, the place where you're going to sell your animals and purchase them, of course. That place right there is where you're going to do all your animal husbandry. Or pick the, buy them, anyway, to do that. Here are some greenhouses here, guys. Now, if you come over here, you've got a place to drop off some water. Uh, your drop-offs are here. It'll tell you up in the corner what you need. Empty pallets, cartons, and compost, some water. And you'll get raspberries and strawberries. And then you have some other greenhouses over here that produce, like, uh, there is vegetable ones, too, like cabbage and, and uh, tomatoes and stuff like that. I've seen them listed there, so. Another drop-off right there. What do we got? Wood chips? Wood chips. Okay, let's wrap down around the side. We'll come up on the farm here, guys. And I do believe that's about it. If I did miss anything, I do apologize. This is such a big map to cover. Like, I couldn't imagine, like, just driving around this map. The review would be an hour long for sure. But we're going to come on to hit down here for a landing, pretty much. And uh, so there you have it, guys. That was the SVAPA Agro 4X Mac version 1.2 beta. The file size is 639 megabytes and 65 fields on this ginormous map. Additional information and links will be down below in the description, as always. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's review. If you did, maybe you can uh, subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and click on my handsome mug shot right there in the middle of the screen. And I will bring you new mod reviews and new mod reviews every second day and Let's Plays every other day. And if you could, guys, maybe you could take a look at my Patreon page as well if you uh, would like to donate. So, guys, until next time, take care, and I will see you all in the next one.